I know, I know. I know what you're thinking. Why would you park in visitor parking when you live in the building? Well, when I got back at like 1 a.m. last night, every single space in my building was somehow taken. And the weird thing is I wasn't here, Chelsea wasn't here, and both electric vehicles, the Volt and the other Tesla, were both in the electric car charging, which means that there were four less spots than people have paid for, which is really odd. So I'm very confused as to what the situation is, unless there were people parking in spaces that shouldn't be. Anyways, if it looks like I'm tired, it's because I am. But welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to the Tesla. And today, it's the first snow of the season, boys and girls. So, let's get out there and, uh, and have some fun in my rear wheel drive Tesla Model S P85 CPO vehicle from 2014. Let's roll. just like or I guess it wasn't more so when I woke up this morning so when I woke up this morning I looked out the window and it was kind of raining roads were wet not much happening then I obviously get ready and I'm about to leave and I look outside and you know it's starting to flurry a little bit then we pull out of the garage and well I'll tell you what <laughs> we, we got a snowstorm here guys first snow of the season and uh, well at first I figure it, 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 it's been sort of warm outside, it hasn't been too cold lately, it's not going to be terrible. But as I'm driving, these roads are actually starting to get covered, surprisingly enough. Uh, I feel like it usually just ends up being nothing, because that's what it always is in this area, but I mean, it's definitely sticking to the grass, the sidewalks, the mulch. It almost looks like it's sticking to the road more than, than the grass at this point. Yes, this is a rear wheel drive car, but my friends, I, I took this thing, I took this thing through, um, what was it last year? With that one huge snowstorm and I had to drive. It's in, it's in a vlog, it's in a vlog. If you guys want to go back and check it out, it might be a terrible vlog, vlog but um, it's in a vlog. Um, but wow, yeah, these, these roads are getting covered. This is actually surprising to me for this area. Usually I'm like, eh, nothing's gonna happen. Well, hopefully we make it in okay. Um, rear wheel drive is definitely ideal for the snow. I'll tell you what guys, it is it is cream of the crop. Top notch. And we got a cop car right here. All right, all right. Nice and, nice and slow, keep it at under 30 because I think that's the speed limit. I'm not really sure. No one is driving in the right lane. We're going for it, folks. We are going for it. Yeesh. This lane is completely covered in snow, but that's okay. Well guys, we're doing it out here. I'm gonna turn you back around and you can see how covered the road is getting because it is actually pretty crazy. And we still have 15 minutes, but only 4.2 miles. Yeah, I know, that's how bad traffic is. Well, it's really not that bad, it's just so slow. It's like 25, 30 miles an hour the whole freaking way, basically. Whoa, this person's drifting in their wheelchair. Check those roads out. They're getting nice and covered. Can't even see lane lines anymore, really. It's just all white, which is bad, very bad. Things really coming down out here. I don't know how well you can see the big flakes of snow on the GoPro, but uh, oh man, oh man, oh man. And cars here, there's a lane shift, and everybody just goes straight. You're actually supposed to go this way, people. That's how you get into accidents. Just saying. You see the you see how bad the road's getting? Look at look at that. That is that is something else, guys. First snow of the season and it's sticking. Now a couple note to either new or future Tesla drivers or Tesla drivers that have never driven in the snow. When you do so for the first time, you will quickly realize that regen braking can and will potentially cause you to lose traction while it's trying to while it's trying to capture that uh, that slowdown, um, what is it, momentum or whatever. So my advice is either very slowly ease off the accelerator pedal so that regen isn't like fully engaged, 
um, almost as if you were coasting. Um, so you want to slowly let off, or uh, you can always just turn regen off when it snows, uh, which actually might be a better idea. Um, just use the brakes and ease into the brake. If you lose traction, A, traction control will kick in, which is very good on this car. Or B, you'll be fine braking and just easing into the brake. Don't, uh, don't smash it up. But you may or may not want to turn regen braking off. Uh, right now I have it on. The roads are definitely starting to get a little loose out there. But um, we're almost there. We're almost there. 2.2 miles left. 2.2 miles. But first snow of the season, you know what that means? we got to find somewhere to do donuts in this car. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, I just don't know if today's the day because i got to work all day. And then it's dark outside and... Oh god, this is miserable. Wow, I did not expect this. I thought it was going to be like a little wintry mix in the morning, but no, this is like a full-blown first snowstorm of the season kind of thing. So, yeah, yeah. But the rear-wheel drive is not that bad, honestly. Uh, just take it slow, take it easy, and you'll be good to go. Again. Officially dicey out here. My tires are spinning, traction control is kicking in. Yeah, yeah, these roads are actually getting pretty bad. It's a good thing I'm 0.7 miles from my office and it's fairly flat until I get there. And my office is in a garage underground. So, worst case scenario is I can always leave my car here in Metro Home if the roads don't get better. But I would imagine they would get better because I was going to stop at Starbucks, but I think I should just get into work. I wanted a nice Frappuccino. See, I'm a, I'm a big Frappuccino guy. And even if it's snowing, Gotta have my frappuccino, they're just delicious. But, um, yeah, I just don't want to deal with drivers anymore. It's crazy how uh, how bad these roads got pretty quickly. I, I did not think it would stick like this. It never sticks around here. It never sticks. Why is it sticking? I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely, roads are getting covered, folks. Ooh, little sideways rotation. All right. Now turn right. Oh, guys, we made it. We're good, we're good. Woo. All right, we're good guys. We made it to the garage. We are safe and sound, but now I'm stuck at work. And here we have the electric car parking. All right, well obviously because there's a snowstorm out there, the kids, you gotta be fully charged. So you're always ready to go. It's, uh... Pull the snow back here. What a beautiful car though. Oh yeah. We're out here making it work guys. So we made it here safely. Time for work though. Well guys, I'll tell you what, the snow really stuck because there's still slush and snow and whatnot covering the roads. But, but my rear wheel drive Tesla did fantastic this morning. No, well, I wouldn't say no issues getting in. Obviously, it's slippery, and the car is super fast with immediate full access to torque. So you just have to be careful. I think that's the biggest takeaway here. But the one thing is, is when, when you're driving in the snow with a Tesla, you got to be careful with the acceleration. Don't turn your traction control off, um, unless you're trying to have fun. I mean, by all means. But um, traction control definitely helps. And... Uh, in addition to that, be careful with the regen braking, because uh, the regen, the regen braking can definitely lead to loss of traction, and that's something to definitely consider. So, uh, just be aware. I think the biggest thing is just drive what you're comfortable driving in. If you're not comfortable driving in the snow, a Tesla is obviously not going to help, uh, especially not a rear-wheel drive only model. Um, but I mean, I drove in the nor'easter last year with this car and made it from my house all the way to DC. So, you know, it's possible. You just gotta take your time, go slow, you know, respect the fact that this car has instant torque all the time. So, uh, there is no chill mode. I thought there was a chill mode, but there's no chill mode. Honestly, the chill mode might help in this situation because if you, if you try to push the pedal too hard, it, it's physically just gonna limit the torque. So... I don't know why they don't put a chill mode even on the P85. It'd be kind of nice for snow, I guess. 
I mean, I probably wouldn't use it, but. Well, I think the biggest takeaway of me risking my life out here this morning in, in the treacherous first snow of the season is that you just have to, you know, be careful with the regenerative braking as you could lose traction. So potentially, you know, turn it off. And, and two, just go easy on the gas because this thing has instant torque. And I'll tell you what, that instant torque really hits and you really notice it when you're driving in the snow. So both of those things, those are the two biggest takeaways when driving in the snow in a rear wheel drive Tesla P85. Uh, tire pressure low, check front right, check front right tire pressure. Uh, yeah, classic, 37 degrees outside, that'll happen. 40 PSI. Also 40 PSI on the left front tire, but that one didn't come on. I don't know what actually causes it, but whatever. I guess I'll have to put some air in that and uh, we'll go from there. So I will say one more thing. Major benefit of the snow is that schools are canceled, uh, jobs are closed, and there's barely any traffic on the way home. So let's go. As long as you can get out and get home before and after the snow, you're good to go, people. I also really hate how dark it gets so early now. It's 5.08, it's pretty much pitch black outside. Granted, it's also a little cloudy because of like the rain slash snow today, but either way, I hate that. You, you leave in the morning and it's it's barely light outside. You get home and it's barely light outside. It's basically dark when you leave, dark when you get home, and it's only gonna get worse from here. The only good side, the only good thing is that everybody keeps saying this is gonna be a bad winter, and by bad winter, I just hear a great winter, because that means lots of snowboarding. And lots of snow to do donuts in the Tesla. All right, guys, we got our spot back, so we're golden, we're golden. Ah, home sweet home. Well, guys, we made it through the first day of winter. The first day of winter. It's winter. I feel like there was no fall. It went from, like, summer to winter. There's, there's like a one week gap in there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.